What is everybody? Welcome to the Dubito Tech Press. Today I'm going to be showing you how to enable the actual PayPal payments into your Shopify store. Really, really easy process and secure way to make purchase. First of all, what we're going to do is have an actual Shopify store. So if you don't have a Shopify store, I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description, guys. So we can all get started totally free. Now that you have created a Shopify account, it's going to be showing you the actual dashboard. So here into the actual dashboard, what we're going to do is to focus inside the accessing the payment section. So what you want to do is to go and scroll all the way down for settings. Inside here, let's click into payments. Once we are here into payments, what you want to do is to focus with choose a provider. Usually, when it comes to going for PayPal, it's going to be appearing here into supported PayPal methods. Almost any country enables Shopify's PayPal. So what you want to do is to go here into setup and complete. And here, let's go for complete the setup. So if you have here an actual account, you can deactivate this and start from scratch if you wanted to. For example, here where it says activate. Now it's going to be showing you here the actual PayPal section. For what you wanted to do is to just sign into your PayPal account. So all the information from PayPal should be sent directly inside Shopify. And now it says thanks for signing up. You have now an actual account and you have successfully integrated PayPal with Shopify. Just in case you don't have a PayPal account, just create a new one and then later on come back here with the actual connection of Shopify. Let's go here into uh, Setup Automatic Transfer. Now, as you should see here, our actual Shopify account has now been set up correctly. Now, what else is a common mistake is that sometimes your PayPal is not enabled. What you want to do is to make sure that you have an actual account created, of course, inside Shopify. Just in case you have any questions, just in case there's a few inquiries inside Shopify, should be appearing here into the upper side as an actual banner. And then what you can do is to contact PayPal just in case you have any questions about your website. And now, we have now focused into PayPal. Now, the second thing that sometimes might not happen here into PayPal is sometimes PayPal is not enabled into your Shopify. What can you do in this case? Just in case Shopify is not enabled inside your Shopify, depending on what are your actual country you're currently living, what you can do is to configure a new element. Let's go for choose a provider. Inside choosing a provider, what you can do is to choose a third party payment provider that can be helping you to enable almost any kind of, um, of course, preferred payment option. For example, here, if I focus it to filter, let's say, for example, that I am only able to accept uh, Apple Pay and Google Pay. Now, for my case, the best solution is to add Air Wallet. And if I choose that option, it's going to be asking me to install the Air Wallet, create an account, and do exactly the same process as we did here from PayPal, but instead here into Air Wallet. Lastly, the other solution that I can give you is to do a manual payment method. If I scroll a little bit down, you can see that we have the manual payment method. You can even select a custom payment method, a bank deposit, a money order, or a cash on delivery. So that's really depending on what you try to choose and display to the customers when they're choosing the payment method, they have to do this. Uh, what are the actual payment instructions you have to do in order to make the payment just in case the PayPal is not enabled inside your website. And that house, guys, is how you add PayPal payments into your Shopify store in 2024. So if you find this kind of helpful, guys, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more insight, and hit that notification bell, guys. Hopefully, we can all see you inside next time. But before, do make sure they have the Shopify store. We have the link down below in the description so you can get started with Shopify totally for free, guys. Hopefully, once again, we can all see you next time.